war chart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Oregon passed an export bill, but there are concerns that even if other states allowed the state to send their cannabis their way, it's really just a way for them to legally dump their oversupply of cannabis into other markets. Harborside began trading this week on the CSE using the symbol HBOR. The company is led by a pioneer in the cannabis industry, Steve D'Angelo. He is the co-founder and the chairman emeritus. This company was one of the first dispensaries in the state of California, and they command a large market share. They plan on increasing that market share. Hexo Corporation reported its earnings late on Wednesday evening, and no wonder why. The sales of adult use and medical cannabis both fell sequentially from the second quarter to the third. Now, the company has ambitious plans to double their revenue, but right now, it's going in the wrong direction. In other poor earnings news, Neptune Wellness Solution reported that its year-over-year -year revenue for the quarter declined from $7 million to $5.8 million. The net losses increased from $4.8 million to a net loss of $12.4 million. Cresco Labs was asked to provide more information regarding its origin house acquisition to U.S. antitrust authorities. They are complying. The beautiful and delicious Coda Signature Chocolates raised $24 million in plans to expand that company. Sparks Cannabis completed their Series A funding round with $10 million raised through private funding. MJ Freeway raised another $2.2 million ahead of their planned public offering. Tilray's biggest shareholder, Privateer Holdings, is going to be releasing some of their shares through a special merger, but that will open up a lot of those shares that have been privately held. Green Growth Brands has opened an astonishing 50 stores in four months in various malls. They have plans to take that number up to 70. And finally, Jushi began trading on the Neo Exchange in Canada using the symbol J-U-S-H. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report.